Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the weekly tarot forecast for Aries for the week beginning the 12th of June 2017. Now, just before I do these readings, I just want to stress these are general readings, okay? So they might not resonate with every single Aries that, that is there. Um, check your rising sign, check your moon sign as well. This is for Aries rising and Aries moon as well, okay? So, um, well, the reason I'm having to say this is because I've had people messaging me going, that's not going in with my life, you're wrong. <laughs> you know, these are general readings, okay? If, if the only way I can guarantee that, you know, I can focus specifically on your situation is if you have a personal reading with me and then I tap into your energies. I'm tapping into the energies of the whole here as well. A bit like Jeremy Corbyn's speech, for the many and not the few, you know? So this is this is why I've got to stress this because anything that I get, I nip it in the bud straight away. I just can't be bothered with, with the dramas, you know? So like I say, sometimes they will resonate, sometimes they won't, won't but you will take you know, there will be a message in it, you know, because I'm asking for Aries, okay? So, this week, Aries, as we come in, I really feel it's like they're saying here, patience is a virtue. I really feel you need to sort of take a little step back, look and see what is really going on. And I feel that this is connected with your work as well. I do feel there's a lot of work for you and I feel that there's a lot of work and you're prepared to do it, okay? It's not like your work shy Aries, you know, all the Aries I know are like workhorses, you know, and this is it, you are prepared to put the work in here. But for some reason around your work, you're feeling very restricted, very ca like caged in, you know, and I they're just saying there, I don't want you to cave in because you're feeling caged in, okay? This is about bringing balance in, and I really feel you need to, because there seems to be like, it's like, you know, to and, and fro and around something around your work, and there's something that is like you're beating yourself up inside. It's like you're thinking this thing, thinking that thing, and, and I feel that you've got yourself into a bit of confusion here as well, and this could mean that you are feeling pretty bogged down with work as well. I feel that you may feel you know, under pressure at work, under pressure from people or something like that, you know, all people are putting pressure on you because I just feel this is like, you know, it's, it's trying to, you're trying to please everybody, you know, and you can't please all of the people all of the time. What I want to say to you is free yourself from this rut, okay? This is about you because what they're saying here is you are your own master. You don't have to answer to anybody, okay? It's like you are your own God. You know, this is what I'm getting here. So it's go within. You know, you know, you know exactly what you're capable of and what you can do. So don't let other people spoil your groove, man. You know, this is, this is what they're saying, you know? Like I say, you have a lot to celebrate. There is a lot of happiness here. There is something coming out of the blue this week as well, I feel, Aries. And I feel this could be around work again. It's a, it's a it's an idea or an offer or something, you know. Somebody is coming to you and you will have to make a decision around work this week, I feel. What I want to say to you is you have everything at your disposal here to, you know, live in pretty much a life of luxury, you know, this is it. I feel there is a lot of abundance coming for you, you know, and I feel that this is coming with a gratitude though as well. I don't think you're going to be flashing your cash if that makes sense, you know, but I feel, like I say, that there is an offer coming which could sort of take you up a notch as well. But these little naysayers, these little hangers on these little I don't know they're like little parasites around this is what I'm feeling get rid of them you know get the weed killer on them you know get rid of anything that is toxic around your work because there is really good things happening around your work here as well you know um like I say there's there's work and love I feel there's a there's I'm, I'm feeling that there's there's a message coming through okay about about love or there's a love message or it's a little cryptic, you know, like secret message or something like this coming through. And I feel that this could be from somebody that has a link in your past in some way, okay? Because they they're showing me seeds were planted. What I want to say with this is it's over, okay? It was over. It is still over. You know, dry your eyes. I really feel I need to say this, this Aries, because I, I feel like this person, like I say, this is another one. Put a double shot of this weed killer on this person. You know, you might, 
it might make your heart race a little bit if they get back in touch. But really, you know, I don't feel it's going to be good for you. There is love coming for you. There is new love coming for you, Aries, okay? You don't have to go back to the old. You know, you've been there. You've shopped there. There was nothing that you wanted. So this is about now, you know, changing where you shop, changing where you look. Now, I mean... <coughs> I feel when I'm looking at this, there's like I say, there's a sassiness about you. You know, it's you are very attractive. You know, at, at, at the moment, and I, I do feel that there's somebody watching. There's somebody like watching you. This could be your social media or something like that. And I don't feel the foot come fully forward yet as well, right? Okay, but I do feel that they will. And I do feel like I say, there's money coming for you. There's there's a lot of money coming for you, but I really feel you just need to be in control of yourself, okay? Take some time by yourself this week because I see that you can actually sabotage yourself in some way here as well. It's like sometimes you are your own worst enemy, um, Aries. And I feel this is like, you know, you... I don't know what it is that you do, but you sabotage yourself, they're saying, yeah, I don't know if this is your need for control and your need to actually be in control all of the time, you know, I think this might might be it, um, and it, it's just like, you know, I don't think that this is, is for your best interest. There's success coming from you, for you, you've got it going on, okay, there's, get out of this crazy headspace that comes along. I do feel like I say love could rear its head this week. You know, there's something new. There's something there's something I feel that you could hear or find out which will be like, oh, right. OK, there's a there's a sort of wake up call with this. And I feel that this is going to get you sort of straight away back on track. You're going to be feeling like your own God again. You're going to be feeling like you are powerful, going to be feeling like you can actually take on the world and get it. You know, this is it. There's, there's This drive is coming back to you. And I really feel this creativity is, is just coming and it's coming on strong as well. A lot of ideas are coming, you know, when you get yourself out of the crazy, the crazy headspace, because I do feel there's a lot of new coming for you. There's transformation coming for you. I feel it, especially in your work life as well. There's new ideas, there's a lot of money and security coming. I feel in the summer there's going to be something as well, you know, because they're showing me that you're starting a new cycle within your life as well. Um, I feel like you're going to find out the truth about somebody as well. There is somebody who may have been around you or something like this. I feel that they're a little bit flashy, they're a little bit like, you know... Um, they like to think that they have more money than they have sort of thing. I, I, I don't know what that means, but yeah, I feel they're <laughs> all fur, all fur coat and no knickers. That's, that's what they are. That's what my mum would have said about them, you know. Um, I'm sure I've had this before with you, Aries. I really, really have, but it's the same person I feel. But I really feel you're going to find the truth out about this this person as well. And I feel that they are... You know, this could be a little struggle around you and this could be around either your work or your home, or your workplace or your home. Right. Um, and I feel I feel you, you know, would do good to actually get away here as well. You know, I I just feel where you are at the moment. There's something about the energy and it's something where I feel the second you're feeling powerful and the second you're feeling in control and the second you feel you've mastered it. It's like, you know, somebody seems to be zapping your energy here. Um, and I feel that you have a little fear around this, you know, or a fear of it happening or a fear around your stability being being taken in some way. I don't feel in any way that it will, you know, but I feel that there is... It's sort of like time to leave the old behind, you know, there's new coming for you and new is going to be much better. So what I feel with this is you are strong enough to make any changes that need to be made. Don't just sit waiting for them, OK? It's like your ship is coming in swim out to catch it. You put a little bit of effort in and a little bit action as well. And this is when you will get rewards, you know. I feel that you could be carrying a lot of people, like I say, these 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 hangers on dump it dump their baggage dump their responsibility that they're putting on you because this is not yours as uh, at all you know um i really feel towards the end of this week it's going to be with you where you're 
sort of seeing things for what they are, seeing what it is you want in your life, seeing what it is that you don't, you know, and blocking off anything that you don't, okay? Because I feel that there's a lot coming for you. There's a lot of success here, you know, coming for you. I feel this is something that you've had in the past that is coming back, but this is now where you are sort of feeling a lot more in control of your life as well. Like I say, I do feel there's love coming for you and this could come from the most unexpected places, okay? Because I say, and I don't even feel that you're aware of this. Um, you may be also looking at sort of a move in home or something as well. This could be worrying you. Don't don't let it worry you. I feel that this will be the, for the best. And I feel deep down when you tap into your intuition, you know this, you know, it's just you are doubting it, okay? Um, there's, like I say, I feel that this, there may be this fight that you are actually going on at the moment, but I don't feel it's even worth fighting, okay? You can have the life you want. You don't have to answer to anybody else, Aries. It's not about making everybody else happy. This is about making you happy. This is about making your future secure, you know, within your work life. And this is about you having gratitude for what you've got and for what you're about to receive. Okay, that's, that's what they've just said there, you know, because I do feel there is good coming for you. But, you know... I want rid of these little parasites before it does, because otherwise, you know, they'll they'll try. They're like leeches. This is this is what they showed me. It's horrible. Um, yeah, like leeches, sort of sucking the life out of you, you know, and and sticking to you for some way, for some reason. But get rid of them, and you will be absolutely fine. Okay, so I'm going to pull a spirit card for you, Aries, and see what your spirit message is this week. Aries for the week beginning the 12th of June 2017. Right, okay. Right. Angel over me. This is a protection card. Angel wings surround you. Trust. Replace fear with love. You are eternally held safe in the arms of an angel. This is you have somebody protecting you, okay? There is somebody there who is looking down on you. Somebody up there, they're looking down on you, okay? And they are protecting you. I feel that this person send you healing while you sleep as well, you know? Um, and like I say, if you are feeling down at the moment, you know, I, I don't work with angels a lot, but, you know, they're telling me there, if you need help or guidance, ask the angels, okay? You've got to ask. They're not allowed to help you without your permission, okay? I know it might seem, seem strange if you don't actually work with angels, but, you know, ask your angels for help and guidance. Explain to them what it is you want, and I feel that you will be shown the way because I feel that you're very sort of switched on psychically. It's like your psychicness has grown in some way, okay? Um, but like I say, there's a lot going on with work this week. Uh, you're not afraid of hard work. You may be working later than usual, but I feel this will all have its rewards in the end, okay? So uh, please let me know if that resonated with you. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my Facebook or via my website. There is the links in the description. Um, there's this new booking system on my website and it's dead easy. You just go on to it. Click which time you want. It's got all of the different time zones on. That'll tell you my availability and then you book which one you want and then I get notified. It's all, it's really, really clever. It's like having a secretary or something. It's fabulous. Saving me a lot of time as well. So, <coughs> oh, sorry. So I hope you like that uh, card, Aries. And like I say, you know, be your own master this week. This is it. You are your own God. You know, take no notice of anybody else. Okay, have a fabulous week. Satnam.